What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another video. So acoustic foam or acoustic panels, this is not soundproofing. A lot of these companies market this as soundproofing, but it is not even close to soundproofing. This will not block sound from coming into your room or getting out of your room. All this does is block echo. So when you talk, your voice goes out or the sound source goes out and bounces off all the hard surfaces off the walls. This basically absorbs that so the echoes don't bounce back and get into your microphone. Now in just a second, I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a clip of what my room sounded like before I had any sound treatment. And make sure you put on a really good set of headphones and we're going to demonstrate exactly what this does. Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lina back with another video. Today we are going to be checking out the Rode NT1 5th generation microphone. This is a really nice microphone and this is what it sounds like. Now, as long as you are listening to that on a good set of headphones, you're going to hear what a non-treated room sounds like versus a room that's got about a hundred of these little acoustic uh, panels up. Not even panels. Real acoustic panels are way better than acoustic foam. Acoustic foam is great for someone who's a YouTuber or something that needs to cut out most of the reverb. But if you want to cut out all of the reverb, you need to build yourself like a vocal booth. Or you're going to need to get some four to six inch thick real acoustic panels because they'll be way better than the uh, the cheap acoustic foam. Now I have the microphone moved back away a little bit more so I'm a little bit further from the mic. And you're going to start to notice there's going to be more reverb coming into the mic when I get it further away. So if I were in a properly sound treated room with real acoustic panels you would still be hearing next to no reverb. If I get the mic a little closer, it gets, cuts back the reverb big time. I mean, that's going to be any microphone. The closer it is, the louder the sound source compared to the, the, the room noise. That's just like a noise room to noise ratio or whatever you call it. Even with the mic a little further away, it does pick up more reverb, but that still leaps and bounds better than what the recording without any sound treatment sounded like. There was a huge difference there. It still sounds a lot drier, a lot less echoey, even with the mic a little further away just from the acoustic foam. So yes, acoustic foam does work, but it's not perfect. I mean, acoustic foam is great for, you know, something like your YouTube studio, but if you're doing professional voice recordings, you're going to want to get real acoustic panels and not just some cheap foam. What this really boils down to is if you need soundproofing, you're going to have to buy soundproofing material. And then if you need sound treatment to remove the echo, you're going to have to buy sound treating material, which are two different things. So you're going to have to sound treat and soundproof separately. So acoustic foam and acoustic panels will not soundproof a room. They just keep the reverb from bouncing around the room and give you a cleaner sounding recording. And that's all they do. That's it. I really don't understand how these companies are able to claim that their acoustic treatment is soundproofing because that's really false advertisement. They don't soundproof at all. I mean, if they do cut any sound down, it's by probably like one or two decibels and that's about it. They do next to nothing for keeping sound out of your room or from sound from leaving your room. They're just there to block the reverb so the echoes don't bounce around and nothing more, nothing less. That's all they do. That's it. They're not sound treatment. When you're online looking up the sound treatment on Amazon or any other place, you're going to see a lot of bad reviews saying these didn't do anything at all because people are buying these thinking that it's going to soundproof their room and it doesn't. So these companies are kind of screwing their self over getting bad reviews because they're advertising their product to do something it doesn't. That's, that's just bad marketing. That's bad business right there. I don't, I don't know why they keep doing this. So if you're actually trying to soundproof a room and you actually need to do soundproofing, make sure you're buying material that will actually soundproof and not just material that's going to absorb reflections and keep the reverb from balancing you around your room because they are two very different things. Now, if you're interested in some of these, I will put a link in the video's description and the pinned comment as to where you can get these F-stoppers acoustic foam panels. But now if you want real acoustic treatment, that's gonna block out pretty much all the reverb. All you got to do is get some Owens Corning insulation or some rock wool or something about four to six inches thick, build a nice wooden frame that's like the size you want, fill it with the insulation and then put a cloth cover over it. I mean, in a couple of hours, you can build enough sand panels cheaply in an hour or two to cut out 99% of the reverb from your entire room. And it doesn't cost that much, right? You can spend a couple hundred bucks on foam panels like this, which do a great job, but they're not perfect. So... If you can, if you got the know-how, if you got the materials, if you got the space, 
build your own panels for acoustic treatment. And if you're soundproofing, that's a whole different story. But yeah. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you're interested in becoming a channel member, that really helps the channel out big time. There's a little join button right below the video. Just click that if you want to become a channel member. If you drop down the video's description, you'll see my Discord server, my other YouTube channels, and all kinds of good stuff. But I think that's going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lightning out. See ya.